Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Sorry if you see my microphone cord, but um, it's about the only angle I can do right now, guys, uh, without having you guys way out there and me way up here or something weird. I feel like the angle is pretty good right now. Um, welcome to Oklahoma where the wind is sweeping down the plains. Uh, I did not just make that up. That's actually a part of our state song, which I have heard. Apparently not every state has a state song, unless peop some people that I talk to here on YouTube just didn't pay attention in elementary school. Um, but anyways, um, I'm trying to revamp this plant video. Um, I have gotten a few new plants since the last time I attempted this video, and I'm sorry that I had technical difficulties really bad. That video just never got to go up. So, um, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw this dude and this little cutie on Sunday. Now I have had my aloe in this little succulent garden uh, since the very beginning of my whole plant journey. Um, I don't even remember when I started that. It may have been late February or early March. Um, so sorry for the wind, but that's why I grabbed my microphone this time. First time I filmed this video, totally forgot to do it. So I'm so upset because it took me so long to film that. Very long to edit it um, to make it somewhat short. Um, but at the same time, I forgot my microphone. So all you could hear was the wind blowing without a microphone on. So anyways, let's go ahead and get into this, guys. And I will explain what I have here, what this is for. This is something new. Um, to my plans but I've been wanting it and I finally found it today um, so I'm very excited about that um I do have my gloves in here and this is just a little plastic planter that my um, big snake plant that is in my kitchen if you guys follow me on Instagram you'll see that that's the pot that this that came in but I use it for my soil and then I use this tiny little plastic planter to scoop up. Now today, because I got some very tiny plants because, um, yeah. So I found a plastic spoon that was brand new. And so since we don't really use plastic ware, I decided to use this um, for my smaller plants that you'll see here in a minute. Okay, so, and then uh, I also have some more Miracle Grow. Um, cactus palm and citrus, uh, citrus potting mix. Um, it's fast draining formula. Um, and it says it's great for succulents. So, um, I didn't get any regular indoor soil. Um, just because a lot of these plants need quick draining. And the ones I got today are definitely succulents, um, of some sort or cacti. So if you see me bending down to grab that, then that's what I'm grabbing. Okay, so sorry if I'm looking all over the place, not at the camera. Um, let's go ahead and get started, and then at the end, I will put everything back in place in my house and give you a little bit of a plant tour. Nothing's too crazy yet. Um, I don't even know how many I have. Um, I want to say I still have under 20, but I'm not sure. It's nothing too crazy, um, but enough chatting. Sorry if you hear me hiccuping. It's very awkward. The dogs are outside, the wind's blowing, and they just like barking at the dogs in the backyard behind us, so excuse that. Let's go ahead and get started, and uh, I will explain everything as we go. Okay, I'm going to get some of this out of my way for now, so you can kind of see what I'm doing right here. Um, I am trying not to lean over too far without keeping my shoulder straight, because you don't like a lot of layers in Oklahoma when it's hot outside. Okay, so... This is not the planter this one's going in, actually. But it fit the, the plastic container. Okay, so this little guy is a succulent. Um, it doesn't say what kind, I don't think. It just says it's a succulent. Um, so I'm going to stick this underneath here for now. And this little guy is going in this little... I think he's supposed to be a hedgehog, but I'm pretending he's a porky pine because once this little succulent is in here, he'll have little spikes. So how cute will that be? 
So, here we go. I um, am going to go ahead and I don't even know if I should do that yet. Because I think most of this is the, um, you know what? I can't remember if most of this in here is this. It may be um, more of like the indoor plant soil. So I'm going to go ahead and just dump this in here. Sorry for the awkward shirt. Wind is pulling my microphone. Let's fix this. Sorry, guys. Real life. And this is like not a cleaning video. This is a planting nature kind of video. So I am not really too worried about it being super perfect, but. Okay, well, I guess that's just gonna have to do for now. Okay, so I'm going to. I think this is, yeah, it looks the same. I just didn't want to chance it because um, these little containers don't have drainage holes, but they're also really little, so I just don't want too much compaction. Is that a word? I don't want the water to compact too much when I water these, so. Um, and I'm going to wait to fertilize this, these when I do um, all of my fertilization. And typically it's easiest for me to do that the first of the month. So um, usually it's like the first weekend, something like that. Um, oh, my hair. Okay. I'm going to keep that in there for now. Put this here so it doesn't fly everywhere. Give this a good mix. I'm not sure which soils are in here. Okay, I'm trying not to make this video too long. Um, Y'all know I like to talk, and it's even more awkward when you don't have anyone to talk to, you're just talking to a camera. Okay, so I, I'll i take this tag off later. By the way, um, got this at Under the Sun, and this was $5.95. If you were wondering, this little hedgehog, porcupine little dude. I'm just gonna put a tiny bit in here. And then what I'm going to do is kind of, of course it's not wet soil yet, but um, you know what? This is what I did last time. Kind of wet the soil like this. I, I may have to go grab my hose and refill this later. Okay, let's try that again. That way the very, very bottom has um, I can at least push them to the side like that can you see that where you know I'm pushing the soil to the side inside of the planter if that makes sense um, I learned that by watching several other uh, planter videos my neighbors are probably like what the heck is this chick doing she's outside talking to herself they can't see me but they can hear me I'm sure if they're outside okay and then I'm just going to kind of squeeze him. Oh, goodness. I'm glad for that breeze, but hopefully it's not too windy on here for you guys. Um, and yes, I'm wearing my sunnies today. These are my prescription sunglasses. And I decided to wear my one of my fedoras today. I have more than just a... Oh, goodness. Hopefully he'll be okay in this little dude. I asked someone... I should have asked one of the girls. But like felt like that guy didn't really know he was kind of like so uh which plant are you putting in this planter and I'm like this dude okay so this is pretty wet soil so I definitely will not have to uh, worry about him crap I may have had to uh, get a bigger one or I may have to switch uh, this one and this one crap oh law dude I really asked him that for a specific reason. You know what? Hold on. Because I think they don't mind having their roots kind of suffocated. Suffocated? Is that the right word? Um, so I'm going to take some of this extra soil out. Hopefully I don't mess this up. But I really want him and this little hedgehog. I asked him that for a dang reason though. Okay, so we're gonna try to push him in here. 
Jesus, take the will with my little plant. I don't want to jack him up. And I didn't bring one of my um, toothbrushes out here. Um, I may have to go grab one. I know that sounds weird. It's one of not my toothbrush, but like one of my cleaning toothbrushes, obviously. Um, crap, I may have to put him in the little raccoon. I didn't want to do that. Well, I may just have to keep pushing him down. I don't. I just don't want to break him. Sorry, little dude. I really want you in here. Okay, yeah, so back to the toothpaste thing. Sorry, my hair's like in my mouth and I can't wipe my face quite right now. Um, so yeah, you just use like an old toothbrush and uh, kind of cleans off your planters. And also if you have like a little cacti like this or cactus, um, it kind of helps dust it. So um, I don't know if I'll do that on the video or just do it, you know, before I show you guys the little house tour. Yeah, it's um, been kind of bipolar weather here in Oklahoma. Sorry, I hate using that word, but it's weather. I'm not talking about a human. Um, I hate even having to feel like I have to correct myself when it comes to that. But seriously, Oklahoma weather is literally so bipolar. Um, and everyone in Oklahoma says that. It's just, you know, what we say. But um, okay, I think I might get him to work. Oh, I just want him to be down in there like I want him to like literally just barely be sitting in there um but yeah it was 30s this weekend lows was yeah it was like 40s high and low 30s for the low this past weekend yesterday was mid 60s and today was or is like mid 80s okay so I'm going to see how this goes in here. I may end up having to switch them later. We'll see. But I don't know. I'm really trying to push him in here. I just don't want to break his leaves. I'm nervous about breaking his leaves. Bye-bye, um, tiny little planter. No, it's okay. I won't leave my backyard a mess from anything that falls in this video. Um, also, some people use like a small little paintbrush, which I didn't grab. I didn't think to until just now. I may have to pause this and go get a couple things, guys, um, to dust their leaves off, dust the, the dirt off your leaves. <sighs> See, that bothers me when I feel like there's a hump in the soil, I want it to be like flat. You know what I mean? Like I want it to look like this in the pot rather than sticking out like that. Crap, oh law. I really may have to switch them. I don't know. I think he'll be okay in here for now. But I really have a feeling I'm gonna have to switch him. Okay, so there's that. And then, um, by the way, these have been really good. They're coated in like a really thick latex. But there's fabric inside and so uh, which is good for me because my hands I'm not like allergic to latex like deathly allergic but uh oh my goodness um but yeah I my hands normally break out with latex so this has been really nice um because like if I'm messing with like uh wet dirt or soil um I can't fill the water so again I'm just gonna push this over to the inside of the planter so there's some soil to the sides and then the rest will probably come from the plant see how like this is more deep and this I don't know I just I feel like this one is a little bit deeper than this one I don't know but like I said if I have to repot them later I will keep an eye on my insta stories if I have to okay and then he's definitely really dry so I may have to water him a little bit um, oh my goodness, my hair. I almost put it up, but I wanted to look kind of cute for this video. See what I mean? He has so much more room in this guy. But I was thinking he's a raccoon 
and then they have bushy tails so I was thinking that would be cute okay so I have him in the little raccoon and this is what I was telling you about get like a I don't have anything smaller than this but basically you just dust off the dirt of the out on the outside of your um, planter especially since they're going back inside your house And then um, I've seen those who have this particular cactus or really any kind of cactus because they're kind of scary. So you just very gently um, dust these off and that's how you get that soil off your, um, your little cactus. So yeah. So I just want to show you that. I'll finish doing that, um, all of them later once I get it all done. We have quite a bit to do. Um, we really only have one more that I'm actually like repotting and then I'll show you the whole, uh, pumice rock thing. Let me turn, put these up front and kind of show you what they look like. Okay. And then I did get one more succulent. This is really pretty. This is called a Pearl of Nure sorry, Nuremberg, Pearl of Nuremberg. It is absolutely stunning and if you follow me on Instagram you will have seen this today too okay and then this little guy or big guy is going in this gorgeous he's like a gray with a little bit of blue little uh, pot um, I also got him at um, under the Sun now since he's a tiny bit bigger, I may just put, that's really loud and I'm very sorry. I should have known better. Uh, let me grab my little spoon here. I may just put a tiny bit underneath here. I know they say like an inch or so, but I'm just gonna do a tiny bit. So basically it kind of feels like this first tiny, tiny bit right there on the inside. So since these are really small, the one that the little cacti came in, or cactus came in, I'm going to use this as my little scoop for the soil. Just a little bit in there to push on the sides like I've been doing. That way, your sides aren't the size of your planter, especially like these uh, textured ones, you know, 3D ones, um, aren't gappy on the inside. I know soil loosens up and stuff, but you, um, you still don't want um, your soil in that area to be just empty. said I'm really getting the soil that goes on the side kind of wet inside this little plastic pot that way it sticks to the side and I can still fit the plant inside and use the plants soil that I came with so again if you're wondering what soil I use it is the miracle Grow succulents it's the cactus and palm and citrus potting mix Okay, this is the biggest one I found. They had a lot of small ones. Um, there's only one tiny leaf at the very, very bottom. <clears throat> that kind of bothers me. I'll see. This is dried out too. Look at that. So uh, I'm just gonna loosen this up in here, which is fine to do. You can do that with your so soil. It's okay because most likely this was a uh, you know put in some kind of cactus or succulent soil okay and this really freaks me out <laughs> because these guys are very delicate okay I'm going to get his soil a little bit wet so I could fit him in there kind of have a little bit more control because loose soil is very hard to work with it's very dusty okay and I will not be watering him for a while 
I'm gonna get down a little bit, sorry. Let me grab my little spoon here. You know what, I'm going to uh, shoot. See, no worries though, because I've learned you can literally just sit this on top of soil or even back in here and it'll regrow some, but that's how delicate they are. I literally didn't even barely touch it and it literally fell off. So I'm even more nervous now to put this in. Okay, so I'm using the tip of my toothbrush to push this guy in here. Very carefully. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna take my gloves off because this is not like a cactus where it like, hurts or anything. It's a succulent, so. I'm gonna get my fingers dirty because those gloves are way too big. I'm really gonna get underneath there and just kind of press the soil real firm like. It's almost easier to do that with your finger, but I wanted to get most of that uh, piled up dirt down with the tooth toothbrush. There we go. And you know, it it bothers me only because um, this guy fell off. I could just put him in there, but when he starts growing roots, he's gonna be too big. So I will show you. That was definitely unplanned, but I will show you, uh, I guess, how to propagate it. This is not me as an expert. This is me just watching videos. Um, Okay, and like I said, I'm not going to actually waste my time doing that right now because it's going to take a minute, so I will spin you to the pretty side. Ugh. Okay, so, Gunner. Okay, he's in there. Okay. Um, let's see. Um, so, I guess I can use this little guy because he's so small right now. Let me get him. Okay. Crap, where did my leaf go? Okay, he's right here. He's right here. Okay, sorry guys, this video is a little all over the place at this point because that was not supposed to happen. Um, okay. Gunner, chill. Okay, so let's get some soil in here real quick. This will take just a second to do this because you don't have to do really anything. Hey, stop. Sorry, he's, he's, he doesn't just bark at nothing, he's barking at something. He's barking at another dog. But it's still annoying, so I'm sorry for the barking in the background. Okay, I'm gonna get this a little bit more wet since I'm trying to propagate. Okay. And then um, I'm gonna press the soil down a little bit. Add just a tiny bit more to the top, like this. And then, I've literally heard you can just sit it, but since we're outside, I'm gonna push him down just a tiny bit, just like that. So we will see, I'll keep you guys updated on how that goes. That'd be awesome if I can already start growing one of those. I do have a snake plant that I'm trying to propagate from cuttings. Um, so if that works out, I will have the big one, two, three, I will have four if it works out with the cuttings. Okay. What was I gonna do next? Okay, so the repotting is done. Oh, no it's not, I have one more. Okay guys, so this little snake plant is all I have left. Um, this obviously is not really into my color scheme, but I finally found a snake plant um, that has the yellow outlining because all of my all the snake plants I have right now are just like this solid green one and so I found this so if you I don't know if uh, under the suns like nationwide it might be uh, but if you're in Oklahoma for sure we have them here and you're looking for the succulent with the yellow outlines of the leaf go to under the sun for sure they have it. I have not seen it at um, Walmart I have not even seen snake plants at all at Lowe's yet um, I did see some snake plants today at Home Depot when I bought the rocks, but I do not believe they had the yellow tips. So if you're looking for one that has the yellow tips, definitely check out Under the Sun. Okay, and this is the reason why I actually bought the rocks. Um, you know what, I probably could have, I didn't even think of that, I probably could have pushed this down a little bit more if I didn't do that, but 
this does not have a drainage hole. So, since it's a tiny bit bigger than those two tiny ones, I wanted some rocks. Okay. So, this might be a little bit loud. I will try to just, it's just gonna be loud. We're just gonna have to deal with that. Okay, I think that's good enough. And um, I also have the bag right here. If you're wondering why it's in here, I thought they were more dusty at first, so I rinsed them and then I realized they weren't. So um, now I don't have to rinse them for topping. Okay, so let me get my glove back on. And um, usually I keep these, but for the most part, I know how to take care of these particular plants that I'm planting because I have, you know, uh, uh, plants that are similar to it, so. Okay, I'm gonna add just a little bit, it's a little, per usual. Um, if this video is really long, guys, I'm so sorry. Um, it's easy to just kind of get in a conversation with what you're trying to explain to, to people that are watching your video and Anyways, but I'm so glad I remembered my microphone because I've gone back a couple times between clips when I have to turn my camera off to start a new clip. Um, and it sounds so much better, like so much better. You can actually hear me. So I'm so glad my husband bought this little thing. He was going to start a YouTube channel, but he hasn't yet. So thanks, honey. If you're, if you happen to be randomly watching my plant video, the plants are more my thing. Um, he, we talked about um, house plants in the house um, probably a year or so ago, um, but I didn't really learn much about them. And at first we were really like, oh, well, that can't be in the house because we have dogs and blah, blah, blah. Our dogs have not even come to sniff our house plants at all. And they're little, so it's kind of hard for them to like get to them, you know, so we've been really blessed with that. Okay. So... He feels a little dried out too. He has one, two, yeah, two big, decent size, but they're pretty. I can fill him through the soil actually. Okay. And then I'm going to shake some of that topsoil off because I don't know if it's moss or what it is, but it's bothering me. So, oh wow. Yeah, see, I'm glad I'm repotting this because that's probably not very good that he's looking like that. Okay, and then the rest I can shake in here. I'm really nervous about that. They say no sometimes not to repot your plants so fast, but um, he has a lot of roots. I want uh, him to not, I don't even know. The soil's not on the outside of this potter at all. Um, I'm gonna add a little bit more to the sides in this pot, because that makes me a little nervous. I'm gonna very gently set him down, please do not fall over. I'm just gonna hold him and do this. Uh, sorry guys if anything is sh like showing, I'm trying to stand up straight. But I'm, like I said, I'm on a step right now. I'm going to put him on the side that I'm able to get a little bit more soil on the inside because the other side I'm not so worried about. Okay, there we go, I fixed it. Oh, okay. Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna get this a little bit wet too. And don't forget, I put, my shirt looks so awkward. Um, don't forget I put some of those stones at the bottom. So, you know, he'll have a little bit of drainage going on too. And I believe snake plants are somewhat in the succulent family. Let's see, I don't know why he doesn't have a lot of soil right there. Okay, where is my spoon? I'm gonna try to give that one side some soil somehow. It's funny, um, if any of you guys watch, um, is it I Love Jillian? I think that's her, um, YouTube name. I love Julen. 
but uh, she is a houseplant enthusiast on YouTube and she does videos kind of like this this one and uh, I enjoy watching her videos because um, I haven't got to plant with her yet um, because I've been wanting to do a video myself for my channel but uh, y'all should check her out after watching this video she has no idea who I am but if you're interested in other plant videos I'm sure they'll pop up you know with the title of my video but I'm glad I thought to bring or grab a little plastic spoon or whatever because first off metal is going to be way too harsh for these plants but just a spoon in general should be fine if you're really careful but I'm kind of nervous about that one not having I mean he has soil now but whew. oh he looks so pretty Kenja that was a good choice if you're watching my video thank you for uh, asking what my channel name was um, I definitely will text you when I get this video up so you can watch it but I'm glad that I got the yellow because hey it really does make this stand out I was gonna get like the cream white I have like a white creamy color because that kind of Mo I mean, I like really earth tones. This one, uh, sorry. Ah, this one was already pre-planted in this pot from Lowe's, but it's grown a lot in the last month and a half. So eventually I will probably either put these together in a bigger um, succulent garden pot or um, separate them all together. Okay, I think he's done. Let me just kind of dust this off a little bit. I hope that my microphone cord's not making too much noise. It's kind of an awkward position today. I feel like he's going to just be hanging on to the side. I need to put some more soil. I don't know what's going on with him. Luckily, snake plants are really tough. It's kind of hard to you know, mess with them. And for some reason, you break a leaf. You can propagate them pretty easily. I mean, it takes a minute, but... I'm just going to sit these right on top, but, um, on my Insta stories today, oh wow, that looks really pretty in this container. I mentioned this stuff, right? So I've also heard that these type of rocks, well, specifically pumice rocks, these are not pumice rocks, I don't think, um, they don't say that it is, it says pearl stone, but pumice rock specifically from what I've heard if you put it on top of your soil it can really help with the whole gnat situation um, I haven't had a lot I have seen a couple I do have a small bowl of vinegar um, that stands on or sits on one of my um, that sits on one of my uh, windowsills in the kitchen it actually sits by this guy because he's the first one I saw one on. But I think it's because he was pre-potted and I didn't repot him. I couldn't check him really. Didn't see anything at the store, of course. Of course not. Okay, I need to concentrate just for a second, so I'm not going to talk for just a sec. Good girl. Hi, Gizmo. Oh, she wanted to come see hi. Hi guys! I was, I'm uh, trying to be the good doggy today. Oh no, there's stuff all over you, baby. You got grass. Is Bubba is Bubba being a a mess? Yeah. Okay. Hey. So sorry, guys. It's real life. I can't do anything about it right now. I'm busy. <laughs> I really am trying to keep these guys in here. That's the only reason why I'm watering it. Just uh, a tiny bit more. I really need to um, get one of those. Uh... Okay, yeah. We're done with the whole watering thing because these are popping up now. Um, what am I trying to say? I need to get those little squirt plastic bottles that have the really skinny nozzle. Um, 
for a succulent. Is there a succulent water feeder? And uh, I need to get one of those. And I think I'm going to uh, do that to this guy too. Just because, like I said, I didn't do it at the bottom because she's the lady at the store told me not to worry too much about these. But I, now that I did it on that, I'm like, oh gosh, I'm going to have to be careful not buy too many of these. Now, Kendra, my friend who I saw at the store today, she gets her, she gets these little, the decorative um, little tiny pebbles from Dollar Tree. And I almost did that, but um, I don't know. I read the back of this and uh, I don't know. It just, it, I had a feeling I needed to get that, but... At least for top, I may eventually, for future plants, go buy that. They did have white, and they did have black, and they also had this color of green in those tiny little pebbles, which I thought was interesting. They also have sand, like decorative sand, if you're making like a terrarium or whatever. So, yeah. So, maybe for future plants, I didn't today because I knew exactly what I really truly needed it for, and I wasn't sure if they were gonna help with the whole drainage thing. So, um, I know for sure she uses like, um, she'll use moss to kind of decorate the top of her plants, um, which is fine. Um, she, I think she did tell me, Kendra, if you're watching this, um, was it, I think you said something about like you, sometimes it'll track certain flies or whatever. Um, they also had really pretty like, uh, colorful moss too but uh it didn't go with her you know house colors but actually i'm really liking that it looks so much better so um but yeah i definitely will take her advice on that next time i go to dollar tree now that i like know the difference and that's lovely dogs please don't eat that <laughs> um Jeez. But yeah, they had like little tiny black pebbles too. The lighting is changing really quick. What time is it? Oh, it's just cloudy. I could probably take these off. Yeah, I could take these off. And set them on my hat because these are prescription and I don't want to lose them. Hey guys, here's my face. Okay, I was going to say, there's no way the sun's setting this early. It's been setting it like 8 30 now already and it's not even may or summertime you know sometimes it doesn't get closer to nine o'clock until summer it's already been you know closer to summer by the okay that's not gonna really work in this one okay so i'm not gonna do that in this one i may actually get the pebbles for this one because they're super tiny we'll see okay for sure i want to use it on the aloe I don't want any, any freaking bugs still in my house. And I fed and watered her yesterday. Oh, that looks so much better. Okay, I'm so glad I did that. <laughs> okay, and there's probably a few others that I'll do this to inside that I'm not going to bring out here because they're so big. Um, I did, by the way, this is kind of a change of subject, still in the plant subject, but when I was at the um, Under the Sun place today, they had an elephant ear for a really good price. I literally had to restrain myself because that would have been the only thing I could have bought today. Wow, that looks so much better. This looks like this is literally in the desert right now because it's in a terracotta, which is obviously very deserty like and uh because it's clay hey hey okay i'm really about to take them inside oh my gosh you guys that looks ama amazing now i think eventually they'll you know kind of not really maybe not form together but kind of get used to being in here but i'm not going to water this yet because like i said i i watered her yesterday and i just i don't want to overwater her because aloe vera if you know anything about it they uh, hold water obviously inside their leaves so all right guys so this is everything so far that i have outside um that's obviously going back inside but um that is uh they are all filled with the little stone except my little cactus um 
I may get some of the little pebbles from Dollar Tree because they're itty, itty, itty bitty. You can, they're almost like sand, but they're not sand. Um, so for him, he's the only one so far who doesn't have any of the rocks. Um, here's the aloe oh, with the rocks. I'm trying to be really careful. Um, I showed you the little succulent earlier. Here's my um, bedroom snake plant. I'm trying to be careful because he had some babies popping up. Um, but they're real thick leaves, so I'm sure they'll just shoot right through. Um, and then this guy that was giving me trouble with the gnats is now fully covered, even on the middle, as much as I could at least. Um, so he looks a lot better actually. He, uh, like, it looks so much brighter, you know, now that you have the white. And then this little guy, my croton, that goes by my entry, entryway, he has some as well. So it's almost like they look fake, but they're not, they're real. So. Um, I don't think I'm going to do my houseplant tour today. I think I'll save that for a separate video. Um, so make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe guys. I have all kinds of stuff. Um, I do have only one beauty video, but right now it's just all about lighting. And to me, if I want to do beauty videos, I really want them to stand out. But I do lifestyle. I do vlogs every now and then. I do plant videos. Um, I do cleaning videos, which are so far my highest viewed videos right now, but I definitely want to incorporate my houseplant since I'm becoming a little bit more of a houseplant enthusiast. So definitely give this video a thumbs up and I will talk to you guys later. Make sure to leave a comment down below for any suggestions for any of these plants or if you have any questions about where I got them, um, how to take care of them. I can always do a more detailed video in that as, as well, so let me know what kind of videos you would like to see. Um, whether it's, you know, more questions about plants, your home. Um, eventually, I'm sure we will redo our vegetable garden. We haven't started that yet this year. Um, not 100% sure if we're going to, but I hope we do because I love growing vegetables. Um, but yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Leave a comment. Say hi. We can have a conversation down below just to chat. Um, follow me on Instagram. My Instagram name is sharelife underscore that's C-H-E-R-L-I-F-E -E underscore. And so yeah, that's it for this video guys. I will talk to you guys later. Bye guys. Oh wait, Gizmo wants to say bye. Sorry. Okay. Bye guys. You say bye? Say bye guys. Little stinker. She has stuff all over her. <laughs> all right. Bye, guys. Have a great day. Okay. Take that back. Gunner Bear wants to say bye, too. He has a mess. He jumped in our vegetable garden, but it's empty right now and has a bunch of weeds and dirt. Gizmo wants me to pick her up again. Okay, for real, guys. We will say, see you later. Even though I'm a hot mess and I'm dirty and I'm loud when Mommy's filming outside. Alright, bye guys. For real this time. We'll talk to you later.